going to jump. There's some smoke coming off that car. He ran into someone else. He's got the yellow and black jacket, just like in the surveillance video. Wait, what is he doing? He's getting back to the car, grabbing something. This guy has to be the stupidest criminal I've ever seen in my entire life, okay? If you're going to steal a car, if you're going to rob a bank and then steal a getaway car, all right? Why are you going to wear a bright yellow jacket that is easy to see from a helicopter? I'm no professional criminal, okay? The most I've done is steal a pack of gum from Walmart, get caught, and then have to pay for it. So I really don't know what I'm talking about. But if I were to be stealing a car or stealing anything, I would wear dark clothing and a mask so that nobody knows what I look like. This guy's out here running around stealing cars in a bright yellow jacket so that everybody knows who he is. Getting sick of constant negativity, searching for some clarity. Try to switch my mind around, reversing the polarity and scuttle. Anyways, how's it going, bro? Skeez, it's your boy Lofi here. And I'm pretty sure I found a video of the dumbest criminal alive. I'm not even joking. This guy is acting like he's literally in GTA San Andreas. This man is running around town, stealing cars left and right in bright yellow jackets that everybody knows. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Yeah, you see this? I'm stealing a car, guys. Which, to give him the benefit of the doubt, okay, maybe he didn't know that that's not how you're supposed to, you know, commit crimes. I mean, you're not supposed to commit crimes. But when you do, you're not supposed to let everybody know that you're doing it, okay? It's not a freaking video game, all right? You're not trying to get five stars and max out. You're trying to get away with it. But apparently this guy doesn't know that, all right? He saw one YouTuber play GTA 5 and was like, you know what? I bet I could pull this off in real life. Yeah, spoiler alert, you can't, all right? You're either going to get arrested or shot or both. But yeah, that's what we're going to be looking at today. If you guys could slap a fat like on this video and subscribe if you're new, I would really appreciate that. And with all that said and done, let's get right into this video. And any delays, but he continues to take these weird, these weird offers. And here he's jumping out of his car. car. Oh my look. gosh. Lock. And he's jumping into another car. And, and uh, not sure what's happening here, but it appears he may be uh, pulling somebody out of this. Uh... Why does this guy actually think he's in GTA 5, bro? Because when you steal a car in GTA, right? If you've played GTA, you know what I'm talking about. When you walk up to the car, you yank the door open, you pull the person out, and just drive off. He's literally trying to do that. This is the guy that every parent thought we were going to end up like if we played Call of Duty one time, okay? Talking about video games make you violent like no they don't all right drugs make you violent i guarantee you this guy is cracked out on something right now Gold oh my gosh he's hijacking someone else's car right i just read the title like on the news headline it says suv stolen with child inside this dude is reenacting taken two all right he stole a car with a kid inside of it he's gonna hold it for ransom and be like give me three mcdonald's french fries and uh two million dollars and i'll let the kid go and you better not forget my toy okay i want my toy inside the happy meal Gosh, he's hijacking someone else's car. Uh, you can only imagine what, what that feeling must be like. Yeah, I don't imagine it feels very good, alright? You're just driving on the highway, then some guy crashes into you, yanks you out your car, and finesses that <gasps> like it's GTA 5. Honestly, I'd be rethinking my entire life, because if I let somebody pull some video game move on me in real life, I would actually be... I'd actually be pretty depressed, dude, because, like, this is this is real life, alright? How can some guy pull some Shoryuken-type stuff on me, and it actually work? It's like if that one kid in middle school who thought he was Goku and tried to do the Kamehameha every day at lunch tried it again one day and it actually worked and he ended up murking everybody in the entire room i don't see he'd be really depressed all right not because i just watched a bunch of people die but because of the fact that i can never do the kamehameha dude like man that would actually be pretty cool bro like not even gonna lie so now he's jumping and he clearly did not take the child right. with it him. was just him it was just him. There's no child with him in this new minivan. What is it with this guy in minivans, all right? You could steal any car, all right? It's okay, so you're a criminal and you're like, yo, I need to steal a car. Why are you gonna steal a minivan, all right? Minivans are the crappiest cars. They're for soccer moms, not for somebody trying to get away from the police. Like, dude, steal a Mustang, steal a Camaro, steal something fast. Don't steal a minivan or like a Prius or something, okay? This guy's really out here thinking that he's speed racer in his minivan. I'm sorry, bro, you're not. Um, there's no child with him in this new minivan that he's just taken over. He commandeered it. Looked like from a woman. Who okay, I'm happy that there's no longer a kidnapped kid with him, okay? Props to the kid, okay? I'm so glad he's safe. But why did they say commandeer like he's a police officer taking a citizen's car so that he can go arrest somebody? He didn't commandeer anything. He just straight up stole it. Yeah, bro. So I didn't actually steal from Walmart. I just commandeered a new Xbox, all right? Look, look, officer, officer, chill out. I commandeered the new PS5. This sounds so stupid. Just say it how it is. The guy stole a car. It's not that hard to understand. Looked like from a woman who... Right. who two people. Two people got Passenger, out. Passenger, driver. Okay. Yeah, it looked... 
fight at some point. Uh, the bad guys don't win. That's not how it works in this world. Right? Yeah, that's a flat out lie, news person. Okay, the bad guys definitely win in this world. Okay, Donald Trump is still president. Nike's still using sweatshops. Literally, some guy just hacked my GTA 5 account. I can't even actually play GTA. I tried to play GTA the other day, but it turns out my account's been hacked. Like, the bad guys always win, okay? Unless you're this guy and you're a complete retard who decides to steal cars in a bright yellow jacket in broad daylight. Like, that's like if a guy decided to fight Spider Man with no powers and armed with nothing but a plastic bow and arrow. Like, like, dude, you're gonna get your shit rocked. Don't win. That's not how it works in this world, thankfully. Oh, oh man, that was a close call. Yeah. That guy looks like he just hit I know. Right? Okay, it looks like maybe the car's been damaged there a little time. bit. This guy is really out here dodging and weaving cars on the highway like he's Lightning McQueen on the racetrack. Like, I'm sorry, dude, it's not how it works. You're probably gonna crash into another car, fly out the window, and die. And unfortunately, there is no extra life. There is no save point. There is no starting over. It's just you die. That's it. GG no re. ...that they can push it just a bit longer to keep police informed where he is and to also be sure that they're safe so they can get back down. And here he goes. Did you see that? The guy is literally opening up the door while he's driving like he's about to roll out like Batman. I was never very good at physics, but I do know that if you're in a car that's moving at 100 miles an hour and you just like throw yourself out, you're gonna get a little bit hurt, okay? Just a little bit, you know, maybe a couple scratches. Also be sure that they're safe so they can get back down. Like, seriously, what is this guy thinking? Does he think that he's invincible? That he's just gonna throw himself out the car and roll into, like, a judo roll and just be like, whoop, I'm good. Does he really think that he can take the police in a helicopter on a chase by foot? Like, it's not gonna work, my dude. Since this guy really thinks that he's in GTA, all right, we all know what happens after you get three stars and they get the helicopters on you, bro. We all know what those helicopters are gonna do. Yeah, that's right. Snipers make life go bye-bye. Looks like he's gonna okay. possibly yeah, It looks like he's gonna jump. There's some or smoke off. coming off that car. He ran into someone else. He's got the yellow and black jacket, just like in the surveillance video. Yo, what is wrong with this guy? He hopped out the car and started flailing around and dancing like, Huh, look at me, I'm committing a crime. I think that the worst thing that you can do in one of these situations is hop out of the car and taunt the police, okay? We've all seen those videos floating around the internet right now, okay? The police give zero fu- <gasps> They will not hesitate to bust a cap in you. This guy is probably the worst criminal I've ever seen in my entire life. Yellow and black jacket, just like in the surveillance video. Wait, what is he doing? He's getting back to the car, grabbing something. Hey, where is he? Which jacket? He's panicking. Oh, he he's wants to get this other years. car. That's what he's trying to do. What is this guy's thought process? Like, actually, I want to know what drugs he took to make him think that all this was actually going to work. Dude crashed into a stop sign, hopped out one car and tried to get inside of another car, then realizing he had zero hot wiring skills was like, oh dang, this might not work. I guarantee you, this guy probably drank like a gallon of PCP before going on this weird car theft high speed chase. Because there is no way that somebody in their right mind could do all of this and think that it's chill. Peoria, there's the on-ramp, but now he's... Why is he still driving this car? Why didn't he steal the other one when he had a chance? That was probably gonna be faster and better. The car is literally smoking like it's about to blow up any second now. This guy is so dumb. If my car has smoke coming out of the front and back, yeah, I'm not driving that. I'm not risking my life. That is the stupidest thing. Yeah, a car That's just... be hubcaps and, right. uh, and rubber. A car can't take that much. Now he's bumping the bumper of the car in front of him. He... All right, dude went from acting like life is GTA 5 to thinking that his bumper car is like an amusement park. Like, I'm sorry, bro. Think that you might be a little bit detached from reality. I think he might be, uh, <laughs> depersonalizing. That joke is so old. I, I gotta stop. That's just mean at this point. But seriously, though, this guy cannot tell reality from fiction. He probably read one too many Percy Jackson books and thinks that he's a demigod. There is no Camp Half-Blood. There is no Tooth Fairy. There is no Queen of England, all right? This is real life. In the car. And now he's doing... That's he's run tire. into someone else. He's run... So he's tires now come he's off lost a tire. At this point, he doesn't... No, it looks well, like he's just a perfect... Perfect. The person doesn't open the door. This is live, guys. I want to warn you, this is live. This guy's trying to steal another car. I swear to God, if the person in the other car he's trying to steal actually opens up the door, then they are stupid. Guy walks up to you after crashing into your car and is like, get out. They're like, are you actually going to get out or are you going to drive off? I'm going to drive off, okay? I'll worry about the insurance and damages and all that later, okay? I'd rather still be in possession of my car than be like, dang. I just got my car stolen by a guy in a banana colored jacket. So we're not sure what's going to happen next. Oh my gosh. You're watching it pulling someone else out of the car and she's trying to stop him Oh my god, he actually did it, and she led him. Why did she unlock the car door? Now I'm kind of wondering, what is the world record for most cars stolen in one day? Because I'm pretty sure this guy just broke it. He's on his, like, what, third or fourth car within, like, 15 minutes? This guy might go to jail, but he's probably going to be in the 2021 world record book for most cars stolen in one day. Now once again going in oh. the wrong way through traffic, 
Um, he's rammed about two or three cars at this point. Yeah, okay, call me the stupidest man on planet Earth, but I just realized that this is some guy recording on his phone a playback of a live Fox News episode. Throughout this entire video, I was wondering why, like, they was shaking around and moving so much and why the quality was so garbage, but I just now realized it's literally just a dude recording on his phone, and now I feel really stupid. But anyways, back to this guy stealing 500 cars in a day. This is Lincoln. Okay, so now so he's Lincoln in... is the cross street. There's All right. the police. Right. There's the okay. Team. So this thing hopefully will end right now. He's getting, out, he's of getting out, and what's he gonna do now? So now the guy has crashed his car, he can't steal anymore, and he's trying to run away from the police on foot and just wait for the stars above his head to disappear. Oh, wait, that's, uh, that, that's not how it works? He's just gonna get arrested and go to jail? Damn, sucks to suck, boy! Well, police... Gonna try to pull someone else out. It's too late. It's too late. Alright, so he's got that yellow coat on clearly- Bro, man's tried to go for like a fifth car. Oh my god, this dude is so stupid. Thankfully, the person inside of the car was smart enough to know, hey, I'm not gonna unlock my car door and just let this guy finesse my car. So yeah, props to that guy. He's probably the only person I've ever seen throughout this entire video that has at least one brain cell. Not even the news people reporting on this are smart because they think that this guy stealing a bunch of cars is commandeering. So yeah, props to you, dude. Uh like a Lamar's Donuts or a Donut Shop in there. I don't think it's a Lamar's anymore, but just He's east of I-25. Well, he good. slipped on the ice just then. That slowed him down. Bro, just give up already. I really don't get it. Like, why are you still running? Just stop. This man is so convinced that if he runs far away enough from the police, then their scanners won't pick him up, and then he'll just, you know, be free to go. I think this guy's minimap isn't working because he clearly can't see that the cops are literally surrounding him on all sides. If he really wanted to get away from the cops so bad, why didn't he just turn on God mode and fly away? Like, dude, it's not that hard. Officer to the right of your screen there, and he has gone down. He's down on the ground. Given up at this point. Hands behind his back. They'll be reading in his rights right about now and picking him up after. And that's it. That's the end of the video. The guy gets arrested. He goes to jail and he's probably still sitting in jail to this day. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash a fat like on it. And if you're new, subscribe. I would really appreciate that. The moral of today's story is if you're going to pretend like life is GTA 5 or a video game at all, don't forget to turn on God mode, okay? Because if you turn on God mode, then you are literally invincible and the cops can't do anything. And, uh, you know, maybe stop by my house and do some money drops, okay? Because, uh, yeah, I I'm broke. I, I need to pay rent. Seriously though, all jokes aside, I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. I've been Lofi. Peace out, my dudes.